We're we broke. <laughs> that rather depresses me, but my friend insists on celebrating with two inches of whiskey left in Aunt Ma's bottle. <laughs> Queenie had a spoonful in a bowl of coffee. She likes her coffee chicory flavored and strong. <laughs> so best we divide between a pair of jelly glasses. We are both quite awed at the prospect of drinking straight whiskey. The taste. The taste of it brings screwed up expressions and sour shudders. <coughs> but by and by we begin to sing, the two of us singing different songs simultaneously. <laughs> What I, that's what I mean to be, a tap dancer in the movies. My dancing shadow rollocks on the walls. Our voices rock the chinaware. We giggle as if unseen hands were tickling us. Queenie rolls on her back. Her paws plow the air. Something like a grin stretches her black lips. Inside myself, I feel warm and sparky as those, crum as those crumbling logs, carefree as the wind in the chimney. My friend waltzes round the stove, the hem of her poor calico skirt pinched between her fingers as though it were a party dress. Show me the way to go home. She sings, her tennis shoes squeaking on the floor. Show me the way Come to on go on. home. Come on. Tongues that scald. Listen to what they have to say. The words tumbling together into a wrathful tune. A child of seven, whiskey on his breath. Are you out of your mind eating a child of seven? Must be a loony. Go to ruination. Remember cousin Kate? Uncle Charlie? <laughs> Uncle Charlie's brother in law? Shame, scandal, humiliation. Kneel, pray, beg the Lord. Beanie sneaks under the stove. My friend gazes at her shoes. Her chin quivers. She lifts her skirt and blows her nose and runs to her room. Long after the town has gone to sleep and the house is silent, except for the chimings of clocks and the sputter of fading fires, she is weeping into a pillow already as wet as a widow's handkerchief. Don't cry, I say, sitting at the bottom of her bed and shivering despite my flannel nightgown. It smells of last winter's cough syrup. <laughs> Don't cry, I beg, teasing her toes, tickling her feet. You're too old for that. It's because she hiccups. I'm too old. Old and funny. Not funny. Fun. More fun than anybody. Listen, if you don't stop crying, you'll be so tired tomorrow, we can't go cut a tree. She straightens up. Queenie jumps on the bed, where Queenie is not allowed, to lick her cheeks. I know where we'll find real pretty trees, buddy, and holly, too, with berries big as your eyes. It's way off in the woods, farther than we've ever been. Papa used to bring us Christmas trees from there, carry them on his shoulder. That's 50 years ago. Well, now, I can't wait for more. Mm. Moorstown.